Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Go ahead and wait for everyone to join us. I feel like I'm in class. Get ready, class. We are about to begin today's session. Uh, really quick, I hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, I hope all you moms out there got spoiled. Everyone spoil your mothers yesterday. So it was Mother's Day, a very important day. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, yeah. And while we're on the subject of that store, I really think everyone should give a shout out to uh, Psycho Sean and Nick. Um, they really worked hard to um, get everything up. Fran was helping. Um, they were definitely needed the little glitches that they had. So to Nick, and Psycho Sean, thank you guys. You guys did an amazing job. A round of applause to those guys. They really bust our butts. Um, also, I'd like to give another round of applause and a shout out to everyone that works the Coffee Comic Work. And they've really been working hard. So, to Brandy, Dakota, Randy, and, um, helping us out get caught up over the last uh, few weeks. Um, round of applause. Thank you very much. And uh, original Coffin Comics editions, um, stuff like that. It's really it's a newsletter. Uh, also, in nine days, we start our next Kickstarter, La Muerta, Chapter Six. So, join us for the beautiful, beautiful book. This is number six. Also, let me know uh, what kind of uh, would you like me to reheat that over the stove or would you like me to nuke it? Um, I got double takes from both of them, so I definitely tried to go above and beyond. So I can go. Also, I mean, the backs of these are also impressive. So when you ever get them slabbed, I just back in front, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. This is a nice, cool little 24 pager. Only 133 copies were made. I got one up on the eBay store right now. Um, so I'll probably be putting a couple more up. Also, what I did um, too is I found some stock and I went ahead and uh, upped the numbers on some of the books I had. Uh, I found some little onesie twosie ones popping up. Also, a real popular one from last summer. I believe it was San Diego Comic Con last year we debuted this. This is the uh, Death Guard. This is another vault book. The amazing Jim Ballant graced us with this edition. Really beautiful work. I love, I love uh, in the backgrounds on the seat, just all the spikes and the skulls and all this. It's that first aid, it's last aid. It's like the little uh, safety ring um, has spikes. It's just like, yeah, yeah, if, if she ain't going to save your life, she's just going to help kill you. Um, I really love it. It's great. I love the Ray-Ban she's got on. Just really another great piece by Jim Ballon. Thank you, Jim, for some of the really nice books you've given us over the years and images. Ooh, here we go. Another really cool one. This is the Reckoning Number 1 Tribute Edition. This is the uh, damage, Battle Damaged Edition. Mr. Harrigan did this for us. And this is actually issue 5. And number five from the vault, not a number six. Oh, here we go. What do we have here? Okay. Another vault find. This is the um, Reckoning Tribute. Uh, Naughty Vault Edition. This is a number five also. Um, on my notes, I put Naughty Naughty Vault. So, haha. -ha. I'm even uh, making boo-boos on my hand notes. So, make sure I'll fix those. Another really popular one. This is from um, last year's Emerald City Comic Con. Hopefully, we'll see you all there next year. But this is the Captain Death. It's the homage cover. It's uh, number six out of 199. 
Uh, Stephen Butler and Dan Feldmeyer uh, did the, uh, the awesome cover. Just love all the little skulls on the buttons. And I think this is for uh, homage to uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, remember the uh, roughly the year, I want to say it was the mid-2000, like 2006, 2007. Um, but Marvel keeps renumbering everything. Um, it's, it confuses me because I'm getting old. Another really, really, really cool one from Jim Ballant. Also another vault book, because uh, we went through these fairly quickly. This is the All Hallows Evil Graveyard Vault. Look at that. I love the pumpkins. And you got the uh, eyes lit up. Miguel! How are you, Miguel? How was your weekend? Are you resting up? Is the foot healing up? Are you able to run around? Um, are the kids tormenting you? Are you calling you gimpy? Um, I hope you're doing better. I saw the pictures, man. You had the really tiny legs. <laughs> Another really nice uh, set, too. I have the Lady Death Laundry number one. This is a Heaven and Hell set. This is number six. Matching numbers. Gorgeous. Just gonna go over that. Really nice books. Beautiful books. There's only 113 of these editions made. Um, they were available on a Kickstarter. Oh, baby, number one. Six pages of that. So you get a preview of both of the books inside of there. And it's a really neat crossover book. Um, a lot of people, um, Mendoza fans, have one. Um, so this is a Lady Death Secrets number one, jeweled edition, number 30 out of 69, signed by Brian. And there is a COA that goes put on the back. It's just really cool stuff. I, I really like that we really, we almost make the whole 360 of these covers really just fun to, to really look at, fun to collect. Um, just all around cool. I just, I love that, you know, we just don't leave the back cover as just a regular cover. It's actually a continued piece of that image. So really cool. Uh, these were some cool finds. Um, I, I had to see that uh, almost every character that is part of the Gotham Comics verse is now popping up and joining forces, titles uniting. And along with that, this is a I got about three of these. Not know we did some of these preview books. Just, it's just like, wow, when was this published? You know, how did it go? What, what was the, uh, you know, thought process? And is it something that we've evolved with over the years? New to the Coffin Comics and kind of seeing, uh, pulling out these old books from the archives and whatnot, and just finding some just a really neat publication history that is all things Coffin. Epic name of the. <laughs> <laughs> Balduda, how's it going, man? Where are you watching? Another uh, very fun, fun uh, cover, and this is another vault one. This is the Unholy Ruin Creepy Creep. And uh, we also did a uh, homage to Elvira in this, Vampira, and um, fun edition of, of covers. I do have the uh, Vampirella one right now. Uh, on the eBay store, and I believe that is also a vault edition, and that is a Chromebook on that one. Nice uh, hollow foil, I should say. The other cover he did was on one of our mega incentives that I do have on there. Um, for the Elvira one, was a mega incentive cover that was offered for the direct market. So we do have a few of those both at the uh, eBay store, and I think they still have some of their available, maybe at the Coffee Comics shop. So definitely uh, check it out. Oh, another real fun thing. Um, we had a Kickstarter event uh, for Lady Death Malevolent Decimation. Gosh, January, February. And um, I found some old editions that uh, show some of this older publication works we have. And this is one of the ones. I only have one of these. This is the Lady Death Dead Rising. This is the Platinum Edition. Really beautiful cover by uh, Juan Jose Rip. 
I really love beautiful, beautiful covers. Really beautiful embellishments on the covers and on the text here. And then, um, yeah, just really nice sparkles of the platinum sprinkled here and there for, uh, for y'all to look at. Again, all these things uh, do come with a warning. Do not look at them in direct sunlight because you could. And then this is uh, Ron Adrian did this cover. This is the issue four. I only have the one copy for each of these, mostly everything so far today. And there's nothing like um, really mixing it up with gold foils. I love how it looks on the battle axe. And it's cool. I, I look here and I was like, wow, is that like plastic on the, uh, it is very old. Um, probably over a decade now. And I have ever seen for Lady Death were these really weird ones uh, for issue 25, the sports ones. We of cover, probably one of the weirdest covers um, I have run across. Um, has John, uh, Brian's uh, signature right up top there and also has a COA. I had one of those and that, I believe that went fairly quickly. Um, so I'm now putting uh, tennis and uh, another just bizarre cover. I mean, these are weird. Um, I'll say these are probably the weirdest Lady Death variant covers I have run across. Track. Lady Death running track. And I love the, you know, the, the fun little background logos they're doing. Um, and she, she's going, she's hauling ass for that gold medal. She's going to that finish, finish line right there. Of these, perhaps the weirdest Lady Death variant covers I have ever seen. And I didn't know these existed till just a few months ago. So um, always uh, fun. <laughs> Some of the odd stuff you find. Uh, from our publication history. What else we got? Oh, hello, Susie. How are you? Let's see. I also want to show you a little bit more of the uh, navigation of the uh, new website. So right here on the mobile app, it looks really great. On a laptop and, and a desktop computer, it looks so amazing. It is really pops. Uh, I'm sure the people uh, who have been to the site and looked at it, it's got a lot of cool stuff. I, I didn't know we were gonna put videos on there. It was so cool. Uh, a bunch of old Kickstarter videos, promo videos, um, hack episodes. See uh, all just really cool, fun, interactive, website is that's just shopping there's just a lot of fun stuff to do you know watch the videos read some of the great articles that were written uh, jimmy's written some amazing stuff um about some of the music video shoots that him and brian did together on calabrese um for some of their videos and you know brian's filming history just really cool fun informable thing just kind of like as i always like to say that the thing that's different about um us than a lot of other publishing companies I feel is we definitely uh, take the curtain down um, we're really, really our fans uh, a lot of fans, uh, a lot of these fans have been with us for over 20 years and it's a great site so definitely check it out the mobile app like here let's look you click on the lady death comics it's like, okay, do you want the coffin comics? It's like, yeah, let's check out all the coffin comics. And it has everything breaking, broken down in chronological order. So you'd be like, okay, which chapter do I need to get started? Well, it's all right there. All right there. Hey, Michael Chaver? Is that how you? Chaver? How's it going? Thank you for joining us. I hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a good uh, celebration of Mother's Day. But this is, this is really cool. I mean, this is really going to help people who are trying to get people into Lady Death or, or old fans just now discovering that we're still publicating. Um, so really cool breakdown of the chapters. Some of the one shots broken down chapters for La Muerta, pinup books, exclusive editions. There's the Zach graphic novels, exclusive editions. 
And there's the Hell Witch, Hellborn, uh, the Forsaken Chapter 2, which we just made available roughly about two, two weeks ago. Yes. Oh, my God. Time is flying. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and also, look, at the, there's um, all this special... Hardcover editions, jeweled edition, hollow foil, pearl linen editions. Whew, those things are beautiful. Handcrafted editions, the metal editions. Let's click on the metal editions and got right there. Metal ones. Just really cool stuff, guys. I mean, this is a really fun. It's really nicely designed um everyone really worked their butts off on it and it shows and you go and you sign up for all our newsletters and stuff over here click on that and that'll take you the link to the kickstarter for the next la muerta which will be uh nine days look at, and here's one of those great you about that shows you you know, lady death video this is some cool stuff. Really neat. This is a really fun, fun shopping site, guys. So there's where you go for uh, checking out the video about the uh, Legacy action figure. And then right down below, it's like, oh, hey, I'm going to pre-order that. Uh, and if you ever need a really nice search right up top there so you can type in what you're looking for and see if it pops up. I mean, it's a really nice site. Really cool site. So, uh, everybody who, uh, that happened along with it. A couple other things I want to show you guys. Another cool thing, I added, um, Evil and Ernie Destroyer uh, preview books. So I was able to find some extra ones and get those up uh, on the inventory. One classic one, and I think everyone like me who uh, was working comics and collecting comics, uh, Wizard Magazine always did really cool stuff packaged in their magazines, especially in the uh, early, mid almost to the late 90s they did all these cool real half editions so this is um the evil ernie half and this is a uh, halloween story that is exclusive to this issue right here and it has the old coas a couple of these and i don't know if this glows in the dark but the glass on here has texture so I'm wondering, oh my gosh, I think, uh, I'll test it. Let's, let's, let's see if this actually glows in the dark and I'll let you guys know. Okay, so it looks like there's even some glow in the dark embellishments along here with the glass on the television, and little glass shards all in there. Um, yeah, it looks like those uh, have the possibility of glowing in the dark. So this would look really cool and spooky. If you used to be like me, I would hang some of my really cool comics on, this, on the wall as art pieces. And I remember I had some really cool glow-in-the-dark covers and foil covers, just like everyone else did in the 90s. The 90s were a lot of fun collecting that stuff. So I got a couple of those uh, wizard ones. I only have one of these. This is the Evil Arnie Straight to Hell Negative One Prologue. And this has a nice gold foil stamp from Wizard Magazine. Um, this edition does not glow in the dark. I have had some that did glow in the dark. Those are way gone. Um, but I have seen a glow in the dark version foil. And I want to say there was a, a green foil? A green foil cover also for another really cool classic and this is probably probably one of the lower edition books I have put on eBay um, this is Lady Death pinups number one cyber goth 
edition. This is a number three, lowest. Another beautiful piece by David Harrigan. There is the number three hollow foil or number three edition comes with it and I'll read it to you. Certificate of Authenticity, number three editions. Coffin Comics publishes small batch serial numbered editions for collectors. Editions range from eight to 1,500 copies per edition. The edition is the lowest number of the edition offered to the public at large. Number zeros, one, two, and three from, this, from his publisher file copies, though a few have reached collector's hands from time to time, this document hereby certifies the authenticity of this number three edition. Um, this, is, this is amazing. Um, this is something we had available at the Coffin Comics Con online. So it is now available here right now on the eBay store. Don't have any other floating around. I've only, I was shocked when they pulled this out because I've seen the uh, 11 by 17 prints of this, um, not knowing that there was a couple of variations of it. So really beautiful, beautiful piece by David Harrigan. And her sister piece, her companion piece to that one is the Pinups Pastel Goth Edition. Say so these are the number three editions. The little sticker on there. And the COA on the back. Really beautiful. Look at that. Look how nice that would look on the wall. Just like that. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Wow. Beautiful. Mock ups. So there's going to be a lot of really, really. Hey, I'm finding something new, and it's it's been a blast. It's been a blast. The number three editions, um, just really, wow, I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> I, I never thought I would see uh, number three editions uh, offered up for sale, but uh, thank you very much, uh, Brian, for digging in the archives and finding all these amazing editions. For me to sell to you guys and present to you on the eBay store, and also thank you everybody who, uh, after I did the presentation with the Hellwitch stuff, who jumped on in and checked out all the really cool wares we had. Hey Bob, how are you? Um, I hope everyone liked their T-shirts. I love the photos we're getting of uh, people sharing for Gomez, and then also all of the great stuff that will be coming out of this pipe from the Don Tag um, artist celebration that we did couple weeks back it's a really really cool thing I, I hope we do some more of those it was it's amazing to watch these creators just start doing a, an addition right there or finishing up what they were working on it's a lot of fun to watch it's also cool to listen how they got their starts um monty moore i have to say he's one artist i can honestly say i think he that man can do everything painting um seen some um, charcoal works he's done pencils inks I mean really great really great stuff and he's done a lot of really beautiful additions especially the uh, next seasons in the abyss he's been teasing us with really gorgeous edition uh, that should be you'll, you'll see the promo and you'll know more if you sign up for the uh, VIP newsletter that'll get you up to date on everything ever wanted to know about comics and all of us at Cobbler Comics appreciate you guys thank you very much thank you very much again let me just show you some of the fun stuff that uh, I uploaded on the eBay store this is some of many items that are available I have updated some of the uh, stock levels on a couple items as well also I was able to get on there the commemorative coin set I got a couple of those on there no one's familiar with those. We do challenge coins. Now, if I understand the, um, the history behind the challenge coins, if someone throws up coins up, uh, every some from different uh, organizations, like uh, Heroes Initiative had some. Um, really cool pieces. Uh, 
I really have seen um, just a lot of large array of challenge coins, and this is something that was new to me. I never knew anything about a challenge coin until I started working at Coffin. So it's a really, really cool thing to learn the stuff that you learn while working in the publishing business. All right, so we're gonna take it in reverse. This is everything on the eBay store currently. This and hundreds more. The Evil Ernie Straight to Hell, negative one prologue. It's a nice Wizard Magazine foil stamp there in the corner. Another fun thing from Wizard, the green foil Evil Ernie. And this is a Halloween story in here. And then also just discovered that right down here, these little pieces glow in the dark. So I had no idea. So, hey, we learned something together. Woo! Who said you can't learn cool stuff on the internet, man? So I got a couple of those. A couple more of the uh, Evil Ernie Destroyer Preview number one. Classic from the Chaos Era. Beautiful stuff. Ever seen with Lady Death. Another real crazy groovy one. But I really love what he did with her hair. Her hair is just insane. Uh, this is the Sexy Sport Tennis Edition. I still have a couple of these left. And like I say, once they're foil cover. Shiny, all foil covers. Remember, don't look at them in direct sunlight. You could go blind. <clears throat> Oof, a drink of water. So I don't know what the weather's like in your guys' parts, but it's hot and hotter and only get hotter still. I hate it when you have to crank out your AC in April. It's like, oh boy, do I have a long summer because you're going to keep that thing in Arizona cranked at least till almost, in some cases, almost up to Halloween. So it's always and this was only available at the boutique stop at HQ. This is the Lady Death. Mat. This is the Aloha edition. This is another one of the creepy crawler variants we've done. This is done a couple years ago, if, if my memory serves correct. Another really fun, fun, cool find here I also had was the... Uh, on the eBay store. So a nice little piece of Coffin Comics history. Also probably one of the earliest Hellwitch cover appearances possibly. Another fun find was the uh, another cool, 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 cool. It's like sticky tap came off. Come on. Sensor bar. Bing, bing, bing is the uh, Damnation Game Naughty Friday 13th edition. This is a vault book. It was number six. Seven, eight, or nine. Especially with the really old school logo. So this is number 30 out of 69. This, to date, is the oldest jeweled edition I have found. And I love, there's our, our, our motto, good comics for bad boys and girls. So I only have one. Matt Bush did the cover. It's number three. Very early jeweled edition. Another fun vault book, another popular one that flew out of the store. This is the Lady Death Sad Girl Psycho Baby Naughty Crossover cover. but it wasn't a number six. I believe it was just one of the last ones that we had found uh, in the store while we were getting everything loaded. I don't know who you are, but I'm declining you. The Ali Garza set. This is the Naughty Heaven and Hell set. This is a vault set. They have matching serial numbers. They're number six. There you go. Show you the serial numbers. Six out of 113. These were offered at the previous Kickstarter, I believe, uh, Malevolent Decimation, one of the sets he has offered. Another cool Volt Edition, this one really flew out uh, quickly on Halloween, or was it October? Probably Halloween. 
This is the All Hollows Evil Graveyard Edition, Jim Ballant. This is number six out of 150. Yeah, once this is gone, that's it. All I have. Another fun edition. This was available at the last year. Dan Feldmeyer. Stephen Butler. Another set for Mr. David Harrigan. Lady Death the Wrecking. This is a number five from the vault. This is the tribute battle damaged cover. The interior is a reprint of Lady Death the Reckoning number one. Another cool Harrigan one. Death Guard edition, another number six, Jim Ballant. Classic Lady Death cover. This we had at uh, San Diego Comic Con last year. It was one of those editions from that show. This is a vault copy. So back to the Zombie Exterminator Heavy Metal edition. It was 133 made. This is number 86. So I have one of these on there right now. I'm looking to get a couple more of these up there for y'all. Uh, if you don't know, Zach is our more lighthearted horror comedy series. Uh, he is also part member, him and his brother Zane are now members of The Sworn, along with Wargoth, uh, War Angel, and all the other great characters, uh, along with Chaotica. Another cool universe spanning stuff that uh, Brian has slowly been developing over the years in Coffin Comics. The characters and the worlds are all merging, so there is now the Coffinverse that uh, he announced over at Malevolent Decimation Kickstarter, which was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I I had a blast. I enjoy all our Kickstarter events. Um, it's also fun to just see how everyone, well, actually just to experience what's going on during a Kickstarter is every time, it, I've seen it at least seven, eight, nine, and it, they're still so exciting. They're, they're very fun events to uh, sit in on. They're a lot of fun to partake. There are a lot of work to do, and some of the ones are bigger ones we've done. Um, but it's never a dull moment at our Kickstarters. We're always having a good time promoting the heck out of everything. And, you know, uh, thank you guys for supporting us. Like I say, we can't do our stuff unless we have your support. You. Another vault book. This is the Black Heart Hollow Foil Edition. Please, uh, Chetsuda did this, I believe. Look at that. That's a beautiful piece. Beautiful. And again, we. We keep that foil going all the way around. The whole cover is one big foil cover. Gorgeous piece. Really beautiful thing to have in anyone's collection. Another vault copy I have for y'all today is the Menage à Moi edition. I don't speak French, so I'm sure I'm butchering the heck out of that. This is a vault edition. Number six out of 225. This, I remember, came out probably the first couple of months working at Coffin Comics. I was in the warehouse and receiving books. So I think it was probably only the second time. Gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. Um, i trying to remember some of the other editions that came with it, but that one always stuck out because I really liked how the chains were draped around on the art piece. I, I Stunning. Whenever I see this cover, I just, I just like, okay, where's Pinhead? When's Pinhead going to show up in this? Again, another vaulted. This is a set done by Dan Mendoza. This is the Zombie Lady Nice and Naughty Editions. This is a set. And this is just one of the many things I have put up on our eBay store. 
Um, again, thank you everyone who checked out the Coffin Comic Shop, our newest website. Uh, definitely click on the link and check around it. It, it. And there's also videos to watch and lots of really cool archival stuff. It's definitely more than a shopping experience. It's a Coffin Comics experience. So, again, thank you everyone. I hope everyone had an amazing Mother's Day. I hope all you moms out there were spoiled rotten. I'd like to say Happy Mother's Day to everyone in the audience that has joined us today, last week, and the weeks prior. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I really like talking to y'all on the eBay store that have been uh, sending me messages. Thank you, everybody, um, during these uh, interesting times we're in, but things are slowly looking up. Uh, let's all stay positive. Let's all support each other, support local artists, support independent publishing, support Coffin Comics. Um, it's been a lot of uh, interesting weeks I've spent here with you guys, uh, broadcasting out of my little home here. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Also, more stuff to come on to the Lady Death store. Hoping, again, you gotta check this out. I mean, we got videos, our featured products, and this is at the Coffin Comic Shop. Brand new. We just got went live on it over the weekend. So definitely check this out. It's got just about everything you could ever want. Make sure you pre-order for these action figures as well as the statue. If anyone knows our history with statues and figurines, the stuff goes very quickly. Fans gobble them up. And I think these are going to be really beautiful pieces to anyone's collection. The action figure, I mean, 24 points of articular. It's the first Coffin Comics uh, action figure. Um, the figures in the run will be Chaotica, La Muerta, Hellwitch, and the Diabolical Lady Satanis will be coming. Uh, just, and look, it, it's, there's 24 points of articulation, so it's very posable. Um, she has a removable cape. Um, her hell scythe can also be taken from her hand and her sword death bringer is also able to be, uh, displayed in her hands or off to her side. I mean, these things are posable. These things are gonna look great. I expect to see, I want to see someone do a stop motion video of this. I challenge you feed motion animated action figure adventure for your lady death figure. I challenge somebody out there to do that. I know somebody will take me up on that challenge. I want to see it. I've got to see it. I think this is a really cool idea. So I challenge one of you guys out there, make a stop motion video of your uh, lady death action figure when it gets to you. Let's see. And some of the other figures that uh, from the coffin verse that they're wanting to include in this line again is La Muerta, Hell Witch, Chaotica, 84 points of articulation, Google Cape. Look at these. And not only that, I really like on the site. And then we have an amazing video, and you can zoom in and out. Nick and Psycho Sean, Francesca, everyone did who worked on this worked really hard. And a special thank you to all those guys. That's going to wrap me up for this week. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. I'm sworn to you. Have a great Monday, guys. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.